Hello to all of you watch enthusiasts. Uh, my name is Davor, Davor Rivic and um, well it's long time no see but uh, right now I have something to share with you. I um, well actually to be honest two weeks ago I received this package from Seiko, Grand Seiko actually. Uh, it came directly and I didn't open it yet so it's still sealed as you can see unopen it and I will do that right now in front of cameras. Uh, what is inside? Oh, well, inside is uh, Grand Seiko. As you can imagine because it came from Grand Seiko. Okay. I will be using a bit of force. So it doesn't work anyway else. Or maybe even some sophisticated person to open this one. So, as I say, inside is Grand Seiko. One uh, from Scott Series. And it's limited work. This is SBGE245G. That is the name of the model. And I'm opening this because on the other side are my personal data and no, oh, this one. Okay. This is my invoice. And this is actually what I want to see. Wait a second. This is a really good thing. Let's see nothing else. So this is Grand Seiko. Uh, as I say, this is from their sport series. Uh, this is new Spring Drive limited edition. So this is unboxing of my new watch. So let me see what is in box. Oh yeah, this is silicon strap, additional. Orange one. So it looks really nice. And there's a sort of Grand Seiko on the buckle. Line logo, Grand Seiko like line logo on stopper. And it's looking nice. Material is actually quite it's not sticky. It's nice material, no question about it. So this is camp. What else is inside? Oh, it's this is size book. Yeah, inside is 9R movement. Uh, 66 actually to be precise in a lot of different languages. Uh, first one, GMT Spring Seiko was uh, Grand Seiko movement was uh, 65. This is the second iteration of that movement, 66. And it's actually even better than 65. Actually, this is third box I'm opening. And there it is. Show you the box. It's only nine box. Yeah, so this is for the straps. Seiko strap. Okay. So let me see. First impression. First impression is look marvelous, and I'm not joking. Yes, it is. It's nice. It's bi directional bezel. As you can see, as it should be on any GMT watch. Let me check this one. Okay, like this. So SBGE245G Grand Seiko made in Japan. Japan. So as you can see, this is the lion. And this one is 
382 from 600 because this is limited edition and as you can see it's a really nice one and I like it's almost how it should be in direction a little bit off but nothing serious so the bracelet is brushed and in the middle on each side is high polished it's almost like the mirror polished actually it is mirror polished segments and it's screw-ins screwable so check yeah this is something new from Seiko as I think no Grand Seiko in this case from both sides are screws so this should be ordinary not pin and barrel style and there is a half link there's a half link full link full link really nice crown beautiful watch no question about it look how is this done the locks are drilled really through which is always nice It's a beautiful watch, honestly. And the dial is burgundy. Burgundy sunburst. Uh, I'm trying to check because, okay, I'm doing this under the artificial light. Two sources, one is from this side, the other is from the other side and as you can see there is a one there is a second one so you just can't see what i can see but it's beautiful it's really beautiful <laughs> okay i didn't do anything it's straight from the box as you can see and it's fit just right it really fits just perfect yeah that's that's it that's how i wear my watches beautiful so um on the dial as you can see this is gmt hand hour hand minute hand and uh, uh, power reserve It's a nice pop-out crown, screw in, screw out, of course, it's uh, 200 meters or 20 bars or atmosphere, whatever. So you can see how I wind it, that's how power reserve going up it does have three day power reserve so this is one day or 24 hours oh, no. two days or day and a half it will be two days now i will stop on two and a half to be honest so it's 72 hours power reserve and crown is just going smoothly in. So nice feeling. It's a small crown, to be honest. Uh, 
but there is no need to be bigger, any bigger, because right now it's look like just perfect how sh how it should be. So look how it should be, and check this second hand. I'm trying to find how you can see better. It's a golden color. There's no ticks on, on this second hand because um, well, that is a spring drive movement and how it works. It's mechanical movement, but funny enough, he produces his own electrical energy. There is nothing better in the world. This is one beautiful watch. I really like it. So actually with this watch you can actually have three time zones. One is with regular minute and hour hand. Second zone is the GMT hand. And the third zone is actually bezel. Because right now I can say, okay. It's a, is that. So it's six is on the position of 12 and I can't just like that. Or use GMT hand. And there is just no, look at this, it's it's beautiful watch, I'm not joking. I hope you like it as I do. I mean, I hope you like this video, actually. The watch is beautiful. I, I am assuring you this is really nice watch. And I have 21 centimeter wrist, or practically almost 8 inch. And this watch is looking like this on my wrist. It's look just like it should be. And it's a really beautiful one. I like it much. I like it too much. I really like it. I did wait two weeks just to, to settle down because, you know, when I got it, I thought, oh my God, this is so good. This is so nice. Uh, I need to. And then I think, no, 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 no. I will wait. I will let it sink in, you know, just to settle down. And I, I know I have it. It's mine. This is my watch. So why rush? So I wait a week and I thought, okay, now we'll do it. And I said, okay, I didn't have time and I wanted to do it slow, properly. And I said, no, 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 I will, I, will, I will do it next week. So today I set up my lightnings and it slides from both sides. And I decided, because it's quite actually late right now. Uh, Lumi Bright is on the hands, indexes and the bezel. And um, it's a th threefold clasp with push buttons, dual action, or, or no, dual push buttons, no dual action. The, if it's dual action, it's gonna be heavy. But look at this, it's beautiful. Uh, so, uh, inside is, as I said, spring drive movement 9R66. Not 65, it's 66. So it's the latest, latest iteration of this movement. There's nothing better in the world. So that's as simple as that. Um, it's approximately 72 hours power reserve when it's full winded. And um, well, why is this so superior movement? Because this is mechanical movement. But still, um, from my experience with uh, the Nader, um, spring drive movement I have in Seiko Nanta. Um, it's monthly around five to six seconds. Well, that is my experience with another one. I will check this one uh, too, but uh, the other one is in range when I wear it uh, in one month is going somewhere around plus 
five to six seconds a month in plus. So that is a month, not a day. Uh, water resistant till 200 meters. So you can do whatever you want with this one. Of course, not a deep diving, but this is not diver's watch. This is sport watch. Um, of course, the watch is magnetic resistance, simply because he produces his own magnetic magnetic force break and regulate the speeds and um, actually maintain that uh, that kind of accuracy for a mechanical watch. Uh, what do you say? Is that strong enough? I think this is very strong. And there is a loom on the indexes. 12, 3, 6 and 9, loam on the bezel and on the hour hand, minute hand and GMT hand. It's quite strong. I hope you like this video. I know it's, it's quite, well it's long for just for unboxing and this is not a review. This is just my unboxing more or less for security purposes to see if everything is okay but as you can see everything is okay I'm really happy with this watch I like it I like it too much this is my new watch this is Grand Seiko with uh, spring drive movement GMT and it's SBGE 245G with burgundy sunburst dial thank you for watching please do subscribe because uh, I know lately I, I was quite lazy I didn't take my uh, much videos or anything but I will do um, I have so many new watches in my modest collection and I didn't take reviews on of on any of them and so there will be quite few videos later on so please do subscribe down there somewhere right here is subscribe button subscribe uh, i will try I, I always try to be um simplest as possible so this is pure amateurish uh work uh, i'm not paid for it of course <laughs> especially grand seiko doesn't pay me i i both this watch um, and any other watch if i by any chance receive any watch just for review i will always say i received this watch for review not this one that one the other watch which maybe i will receive but uh, mainly i do have only my watches uh, which i pay both and own in my collection and i will work with them and i will give my honest opinion of, the, of them most of my opinions will be positive. Why? Because I bought them, bought them, uh, and pay for them, and I like them. I, I I wouldn't pay for them if I wouldn't like them. So simple as that. Uh, but if I find something which I don't like, I will say without a problem because it's my watch. It's my opinion. So thank you all for watching of this. Please subscribe somewhere down there, and um, happy watch hunt.